Now, anyone who's been to Walt Disney World Resort will recognise this iconic Cinderella castle. But in an exclusive reveal today, we can confirm that there's going to be a Lego kit of this castle and quite some Lego kit too. It's absolutely huge with 4,080 pieces and also you can see a variety of different rooms. We've got new minifigures, different versions, different prints from the ones we saw in the collectible minifigures line. So we've got a new Mickey, a new Minnie, we've got Donald, we've got Daisy and we've also got Tinkerbell. Now although this is the Cinderella Castle from the Walt Disney World Resort, it features a whole load of di different rooms for different Disney films. So we've got Sleeping Beauty, we've got Beauty and the Beast, we've got Tangled, We've got the princess and the frog. We've even got a room that's dedicated to Fantasia and what I think is a hint towards Robin Hood with archers and bows. So as you can see, here's the front of the box in full 16 plus in terms of ages. So it's gonna be a more complicated build, but if we turn it over and have a look at the back, you can see more detail of what is in each of the rooms of a castle when built. So there you've got Daisy and the spinning wheel from Sleeping Beauty. You've got some projectiles there with Tinkerbell. Fantasia Mickey, you've got a bit of Tangled with the hairbrush and the scissors and maybe some Robin Hood and then down the bottom with Donald, he's in that bed chamber. If we zoom out just before we get this kit built and in front of the camera, you can see the level of detail here on the box and in the build. Lovely grandfather clock, candles, candlesticks, candelabra, you've got the little rose there from Sleeping Beauty and of course the new versions of those Disney minifigures. But let's zoom out and switch to a fully built image of the Disney castle to see how each of these rooms fits together, to see which features are included in which. And as we do that we can keep an eye out for any new bricks, any new variants and sculpts, as well as spotting all these Disney movie references as we go. So, here we are with a super high res look at this new Disney castle. Now I want to give you a sense of the scale, so if we get zoomed in right up to the top here, we've got a variety of different pieces being used, stud work there, giving the texture to the top point of this turret. But as we zoom down, just get a sense for how big this is. I think a lot of these pieces are familiar, um, with some nice um, colour variations in some, and certainly that clock I've not seen before, and the detail of the finials there in the middle of the turret but you get a sense there of just how big this castle is. Turn it round though and I think this is where the fun really starts. You can see they've really gone to town in referencing all those Disney films and you can spot all different items, some new neat pieces here. Uh, I really like that little rose under the tra transparent dome there from Sleeping Beauty. You've got the grandfather clock there, you've got um, candelabras, candles sat within them, You've got that pumpkin and broom and of course for Cinderella all those nice little kitchen utensils laid out ready for her to do some work as well. As we move up we've got that Fantasia, that Mickey's hat and the broom and the bucket and of course the spinning wheel from Sleeping Beauty. Again as we move up just at the top there we've got a hairbrush and scissors of course referencing Tangle. So there's a, there's a nice degree of variety here not just in those mainstream well-known Disney films but also some of the less, lesser known ones. Now at the top you can see a spotted handkerchief there of course containing within it an apple and the mirror as well from Sleeping Beauty so that completes the full set of movies that are referenced in this Disney castle but you can carry on up and you can see it keeps on climbing right to the very tip. So again if we zoom out you can get a sense of the scale of this product but of course what also comes with it, it's not just only the castles, but these really interesting new variants of our Disney minifigures. Now we've been collecting these minifigures in the latest series of Lime Bags, but these are different. So we've got Daisy here, much more detail on her top. You've got little ruffs around the neckline, you've got the button and you've got the, the sort of the lower hem. And also on her feet, that printing goes all the way around. On the minifigures, that was just on two faces and it seems like that now completes the circle of Daisy's feet. Donald however doesn't seem to get the same treatment as far as I can see unless I'm missing something this is the exact same minifigure as in was those blind bag collections so no sort of enhancements here for him. But now we've got Minnie now she looks quite different rather than having a polka dot skirt and plain top of course now she's got a full dress you can see 
that red and white polka dot extends both, both her torso down to that sculpted dress piece as well. And I think that's the same, but just in a different colour as the mini we saw in those blind bag minifigure collections. Of course, she's got the bow on the top as well in matching colour. The petticoats underneath and um, yellow feet. And here we have Mickey. And again, Mickey has a really different printing. It makes you go back to those old minifigures that we've been collecting. They look relatively bland. I love his little three-piece suit, waistcoat, um, yellow bow tie, and of course the matching dots on his trousers as well. And that brings us to what I think is the most exciting minifigure in this set, which of course is Tinkerbell. I love the look of those translucent wings on her back. I've not seen that printing before. It feels like it's familiar, but I can't quite place it. Um, the sort of top knot hairstyle and the Tinkerbell <laughs> cheeky grin, lipstick mouth, um, nicely printed. Of course, her torso, she's got her elfling sort of outfit um, and a nice bit of material detail um, to extend that down to cover her waist and legs. And of course, her Tinkerbell green translucent wand. So great to see another Disney minifigure that we've not had in our collection. And it makes me think perhaps we're going to have a series two of those blind bag Disney minifigures, which would include Tinkerbell, time will tell. But let's move back to the castle now. I want to look in close detail at some of these in particular rooms and chambers. And we're gonna start with Donald here in what I think is a relatively generic bed chamber. Now it could be Sleeping Beauty, it could be Beauty and the Beast. Um, I think probably most likely with the bed in it, obviously that's the Sleeping Beauty theme, but certainly nice attention to detail. Those finials at the end of the bed and the nice little stud finishing that off. Really nice effect. Now we're going to move across to Mickey now, super close up so you can get a feel for just how detailed these minifigures are. Of course he's got his Fantasia broom, his magician's hat and also that nice little spell book and of those, um, those pails, those buckets that are going to be dancing around the room with him. Moving across I want to bring the camera up to have a bit of a more of a look down at this castle and you can see the fairy tale themes extended here with the Disney fairy tale storybook really nicely detailed i think that's a new piece i love the gold printing of the disney castle on the front really underlining that attention to detail and that sort of castle theme moving up now to one of the chambers at the top of the castle we've got a poisoned apple may look a bit weird here that's because it hasn't got its finished printing on and the final kit that's going to have some white polka dots to make it look like it's in that handkerchief and of course we've got our magic mirror 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 on the wall which combines with this other chamber just over here. And of course we've got the Sleeping Beauty spinning wheel. I like the use of the cartwheel there, giving a real sense of that sort of wooden texture of the spinning wheel. Um, the sort of the gold um, spool of thread that's been created there. Um, of course underlining that Sleeping Beauty theme. Now moving across and down the castle, this is where we have a lot of detail of Beauty and the Beast. Of course you've got that rose under the glass dome there that can only be saved by true love's kiss and its petals slowly folding away. Over on the other side of this room you've got the candelabra and a nice attention to detail. I like the way these are constructed from familiar Lego pieces but together in the set they have a real sense of magic to them. Now you'd be forgiven for thinking that's all in terms of the different films that are referenced here but we spotted this hairbrush and scissors which I think is from Tangled and if we just hop across again we've got some archery going on now this could reference a variety of different Disney films but for me that conjures images of Robin Hood and finally around the front of the castle you may have missed it earlier on when we were showing you that of course we've got the princess and the frog these two frogs um, looking at each other in the eye before I go I thought it'd help to look at these comparison images where the Lego kit has been photographed in front of the real Cinderella castle at Walt Disney World Resort and you can start to see the attention to detail and how both the scale, the sculpting and the architecture of that Cinderella castle is matched in Lego form here. And we can switch across to nighttime again to get a different sense of the lighting. The colours in the Lego kit are a little bit more sandy in terms of the main brickwork and grey here down the bottom rather than that purple lighting. But in terms of the scale, as I said, the attention to detail and the, the sort of sense of fun and playfulness in this kit, I'm really liking that accuracy and just that real recreation of what has become an iconic Disney castle. So there you go, that is set 71040, the Disney castle, I think destined to be a classic. It does cost $249 in the US, around £289 in the UK and in Europe, €349. Euros. 
It will be coming via the LEGO website and other retailers in September the 1st, so not very long to wait. And certainly I'll be interested to see what you make of it when you get your hands on it. So let us know in the comments and we'll be there just as soon as this video goes live. <laughs>